All right, so uh, what we're doing is uh, this tank, I showed you, uh, I, I'll splice in the video or whatever, I took some video of what's going on inside there. This tank is a 20 year old tank. Uh, it had probably 25 gallons of water in it when I bought it from the guy. Um, he used it, it's like a dental casting place. Uh, but anyway, I'm concerned about, um, you know, rust in the tank. Uh, I already did the tap test, which I'll show you somewhere in there. You just tap it with a hanger, hammer, listen for, that should ring like a bell, basically. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it with water, and then we're going to add some grease uh, up top here in the zerk fitting. Um, we're gonna pump in grease uh, after it's filled with water. So we'll uh, fill it here with water. We'll put in the plug with another plug on there. Um, just some plumbing fittings. Uh, we'll put that in there. We'll fill it up to here, put the plug in. Then we'll fill it up the rest of the way up top with water until water's coming out. Then we'll put this plug in and then we're gonna pump grease into it the rest of the way. And uh, we're gonna take it, it's rated at 200 PSI. I wanna take it a little over 200. I talked to a couple of my engineering buddies and they said probably a two to one safety factor minimum on this tank so it's probably if it was tested to two or if it's rated to 200 it was probably tested to 400 we're going to take it up to 250 probably if this all works and uh if we don't see any water pinging out the side or if it holds the pressure then we uh we should be plenty good um so yeah this is just a safety check um i've seen too many videos of exploded tanks online you know and uh could be pretty dangerous if this thing were to explode. So um, yeah, just a little safety check before we put it in uh, in play. Um, so I guess I'll see you outside uh, hopefully here in a few minutes. All right, so the easy test is just to give her a little tap of the hammer and you can hear it kind of ring a little bit. I mean, obviously the top, the, the bell part uh, or the top of the housing, not gonna do it quite as well. You can hear that ring nice. And when we go down to the bottom, it's about the same as the top. Um, so, you know, if it were a real dull thud, uh, that would be an immediate no-go. Take a look inside my deep dark hole here. I don't know if the flashlight's gonna, ah, son of a. All right, take two, got a flashlight this time. So I don't know how well, So that might not be in the clearest of focus. There we go. Anyway, if you look up at the top, you can see where the paint was. Uh, if you look down toward the bottom, definitely a little rusty, uh, but uh, that's why we're doing this test. All right, got her filling up. Probably gonna be here a while. At least it's nice and warm outside. Still waiting. So I don't know if I explained it or not, but the whole point of doing the hydrostatic test as opposed to just blowing this up with air is uh, when water fails, uh, by the way, there's a tag with the 200 PSI and everything. When a uh, water pressure vessel fails, all that happens is you get a slow leak. Um, at worst, what's gonna happen is one of these, uh, one of these fittings is gonna, you know, come shooting out and it's just gonna, you know, let down real slow after that. So, um, you know, I'm gonna stand so that I'm not in front of any of the fittings. I'm gonna stand on the other side and, uh, and let her go. So, we're going about 10 minutes now and we're only about, I don't know, maybe up to like there, maybe. So, it's gonna be a bit. Talk to you in a, in a few. All right, we got it all ready to go. Got the grease gun hooked on there. So we're just gonna pump her in. Ah, come on. Make sure we're actually getting grease. Of course not. There it goes. All right, she's on there. Ah, 
How come nobody can make a grease gun that works? Well, I think I'm out of grease. Go figure, right? All right, I'm gonna have to go refill this thing. I'll be back. All right, I think I got her. Got a full tube of grease in there. Might take a little bit to get it going. Finally starting to get some pressure building here, so I have a feeling at some point it's just gonna start shooting up. Probably just a tiny bit of air in there. Since we're not moving very much grease at a time, it uh, takes a lot to compress it. But anyway, this is pretty boring. I'll come back when the pressure's a little higher. Well, I pumped a whole tube of grease into it. And I'm still only reading 25 PSI. So it kind of makes me think something else must be wrong. I mean, there's no leaks anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, no water's leaking out. Nothing at the bottom. So I'm not sure why, uh, why I'm not getting any pressure. I'm kind of tempted to put a heat gun behind the pressure gauge there and see if maybe it's the pressure gauge in this cold weather. I don't really know. But, uh, or we may just have to revisit this one. It's warmer outside. But, I'll probably try pumping a little more in there, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. That's too bad. Alright, so I pulled off the gauge. The water pressure in there, I would say, was a lot higher than uh, than 30. Um, and clearly the water, or the gauge is frozen, so... I ain't gonna have to repeat this test when it's a little bit warmer outside so equipment isn't freezing. So, anyway, we'll try it again later. Alright, today's tomorrow. Got a new setup here. So, uh, I got uh, work harder, not smarter. Uh, put a garden hose adapter with an actual valve here. And uh, what I did is I just put an air hose. I just got like the cheapest air hose I could find. And put a drain valve on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to run this outside off into the weeds out there. Um, and now I'm indoors in the heated, heated garage. So hopefully uh, this will work this time. And also this way I can run the, uh, the tank up to the water pressure of the house, which should be about 50, 60 PSI uh, right from the get-go. So um, yeah, well, I'm going to hook everything up, go turn on the water, and we'll try this one more time. All right, all right, we got her up to uh, water temperature here. I don't know how much grease is left in this gun, but I'll try pumping it in uh, again, and we'll see if this works. All right, I think we're pretty much out of grease. I'm gonna load up a new uh, grease cartridge and we'll try her again. All right, get a fresh grease cartridge. As you can see, we're fully extended. Pressure's definitely going up. Son of a bitch. I just can't win. Battery's dead. All right, hold on. All right, back in business. Full battery. All right, I'll come back when we're getting close. All right, we're at uh, 200, still climbing. Second tube of grease. This is taking a lot more grease than I expected. I was really expecting the uh, the pressure to shoot up quite a bit quicker. All right, we're over 200. Uh, stand back a little bit. Pressure's definitely going up faster the more I pump into it. And I pumped about two tubes of grease into it yesterday, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, 
if uh, we actually already did this. My finger's getting tired from holding the trigger. So the hose is leaking because I got the hose just barely cracked on for uh, for the sake of keeping it from freezing. Woo! She's a shooter. But no leaks. Appears to be holding up okay. Leave that pressure in there for a couple of minutes and uh, and give her a chance to bust anything out that's gonna bust out but uh, I think we got ourselves a good tank if uh, anything uh, interesting happens I'll uh, I'll show it to you again but uh, thanks for watching figured out how I'm gonna do all my car washes from now on <laughs>